بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو دس لیکچر از بیسیکلی آن پوسٹ ریپٹوکاکل گلومیرل نیفرائٹس وی ول فرسٹ لک ایٹ اے سینیریو ویئر ول وی ول سی این ایونٹ دین ول گو بیک اے فیو ویکس وی ول گو اے فیو ویکس بیک اینڈ دین ول سی وٹ بیسیکلی ہیپنڈ ان دس پیشنٹ اینڈ وٹ لیڈ ٹو دا کرنٹ مینیفیسٹیشن وچ وی کین سی ناؤ so this is a patient say for example xyz he uh, this patient came in your opd with the complaints of cola colored urine uh, which is a key manifestation urine has turned uh, from uh, transparent to yellow yellow color straw color to uh, the color of coca cola and decrease in the quantity of urine that is azotemia azotemia and mild proteinuria so the patient is lethargic patient has cola colored urine and azotemia and mild protein urea you investigate the patient uh, ask a few question and you find out let's go 3 to 4 weeks back when this patient was healthy and happy so the patient was going with his usual routine when he suddenly came across an infectious agent which was streptococcus belonging to group b it entered the throat of patient and led to sore throat initial infection was within the throat then the infectious antigen they started circulating in the blood and they started residing within the glomerular basement membrane so say for example if this is the glomerulus of the patient what is happening in these 3 to 4 weeks and uh, these are the capillary loops and this is the basement membrane the circulating antigen will start depositing within the basement membrane is in the subendothelial and subepithelial places when these antigens from the throat they reach the kidney this patient had already developed cir- circulating antibodies against group b streptococci so when these circulating antibody they come in contact with this antigen they start binding with this antigen so now th- this antigen and antibody complex they lead to activation of complement system and as i already told you in my previous video that complement system leads to production of c5a which calls neutrophils for help and also membrane attack complex that is c5 to c9 me- membrane or let's say it is membrane attack complex and it it leads to lysis of the cells within the glomerulus and the enzymes produced by neutrophils also damage the cells and when this uh, damaging effect destroys the basement membrane and endothelial cells the patient starts having hematuria So now after 3 to 4 weeks the you see the patient in this state hematuria and patient has massive hematuria leading to the production of cola colored urine Now let us see what is the what will be the morphology of uh, uh, kidney in patients with post streptococcal glomerulonephritis Whenever we talk about the morphology of uh, glomerular diseases we look at three main components the first component is light microscopy the second component is immunofluorescence immunofluorescence basically are the tests which detect the various antibodies deposited within the glomeruli such as IgG IgM C3 IgA and uh, they produce specific fluorescent pattern within the glomeruli when see under a specialized light 
and the third component is electron microscopy. Whenever you talk about morphology of glomerular diseases, you talk about these three components. So, in post-reptococcal glomerular nephritis, what do you see? If this is the glomerulus and there are antigen antibody complexes going on, the damaging effect will lead to the first response that is increase in number of the cells within the glomerula and this is basically hypercellularity. The glomeruli will have increased in number of mesangial cells, inflammatory cells, endothelial cells, almost all the cells. Then the endothelial cells and uh, mesangial cells when they will proliferate, they will start occluding the Bowman space and visceral and parietal epithelium will start coming together and there will be deposition of fibrinous matrix in this space and this will lead to the formation of epithelial crescents that is uh, these are the basically cells which are visceral epithelial cells, parietal epithelial cells um, and inflammatory cells at fibrin. So the things that you see hypercellular glomeruli, infl inflammatory cell infiltrate and crescent formation. In immunofluorescence, these antigen antibody complexes they look like humps in the sorry in electron microscopy these look like humps. For example, if this is the blood vessel, these deposits will look like small humps on electron microscopy. And on immunofluorescence, you will see if this is the blood vessel, you will see granular deposit. Just like the antigens were deposited in the along the basement membrane, these look like granular deposits on the immunofluorescence and these deposits comprise of the antibodies which were formed against these antigens and these antibodies are understandably IgG and IgM. Thank you.